I'm joined today by Liz Phillips. She's a registered psychotherapist in Toronto, Canada. She'll be helping me break down what's happening over the course of this session. Uh, Liz was trained by Derek Scott and completed levels one and two at the IFS Institute. She's primarily a couples therapist in this model and uh, says that IFS was a game changer for her. So I'm really excited to have you with me, Liz, and let's get into the session and break down what's happening here. Sounds great now. Thanks for having me. So I'm going to warn you that I'll be stopping quite a bit in the beginning to really help everyone understand what this is about. Okay, nice to see you. Uh, thank you for inviting me into this um, smorgas board of therapies that you're setting up. Um, you. Before we get going, sorry, before we get going, um, as an IFS therapist, I need to get your permission for me to be a detector of your parts. Is that okay? Absolutely. Yep. Great. Thank you. Thank you for asking permission. So right off the bat, Derek is setting up safety. Because, uh, you know, IFS, which stands for Internal Family Systems, is about um, getting to know the subpersonalities or parts that, you know, we don't see ourselves as having a monolithic self, that we are a family system, hence the name. And so the system is made up of these parts. And this is a really per permissions-based model where we are letting the parts lead. And so the therapist isn't putting the pieces together for the client. The therapist is going to be asking the client and their parts what they need. So right off the bat, Derek sets up that, that expectation that your parts are going to be um, asked permission for what they want to let you know. All right. That's all I need. So um, what would you like some help with today? So the thing I've been working on is... Um, it's this lifelong, um, experience that I've had of, it's just a certain, a, a, I would say, I would call it a low level of anxiety that arises mm -hmm. in certain situations. And it's in particular, if I have to, uh, reach out to somebody, send an email, make a phone call, um, asking them to do something for me. Um, mm -hmm. and it could be something very, very small, um, or sometimes it's a bigger ask, but the, there's a part of me that it just braces myself for them to say no. The, my expectation is that they're going to say two things. One is that they're going to say no, and another is that they're actually going to be put out by my asking, that they're going to be annoyed or um, unhappy with me or like me less, that kind of thing. So, Niall, I don't know if you noticed, but right away you started using parts language. You said a part of me. And what's really uh, beautiful about that is that is actually how we all tend to speak, that we already think of ourselves as parts. So we're just leveraging that in this model. And, mm -hmm. and it's, not, it's not so overwhelming that it's, you know, I do do that. I, I do make the calls and I send the emails, but I have to overcome this anxiety every time. My initial reaction is, no, I don't want to do that. And I want to leave the task. Or, or mm -hmm. procrastinate on the task. Okay. Okay. And there's a part of you that would like to focus in on all of that. Is that correct? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Absolutely. Okay. Uh, do you know how come? How it's, come it's, that problem? Causes, huh? I'm sorry. It, it, it's. I was just going to say it's. It's. It causes you know some slowdowns and and getting things done, but it's also just uncomfortable, which is that's why I'd like to. I would love to have it not be part of my experience. Well, this part would. This part would love it to not be part of your experience, right? Sure. This part would. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So let's get to know this one. Because this is the one that's up right now. <clears throat> so see if you can locate that one, Niall, the one that wishes that this other one just wasn't part of your experience. Just see where you, you notice that in or around your body. So I just want to point out here that there are already two parts. You know, that, that Derek is noticing that there is a part that is feeling the anxiety and then there's a part that it doesn't want it around. And in, in internal family systems, 
we always start with what we call the protector that is not going to let you go very far into the next layer. So the one who's feeling the anxiety, the part that doesn't want it around might not let you go there. And so Derek has to start with that part and get to understand its concern. Because if we don't get its concern or buy in, then it may stall the process of getting to know the anxiety a little more. Does that make sense? Yep. Okay. And then just because we're going to about to go into this, the first thing he does as he gets to know the part that doesn't like the anxiety or wishes it would go away is he starts with the body. Well, what I noticed first is the anxiety itself. Even, even just talking about it to you, the anxiety showed up right here in my midsection. Uh, but you're yeah. asking me to locate the part that doesn't, that doesn't want it to exist? Yeah, well, let's, let's take a moment because the anxiety just presented itself. So I want you to sort of send a message to the part holding the anxiety. Let it know we're on our way. We're going to get there, right? Let me notice it. But we're going to start with the one that's presenting, which is the one that doesn't like it, wants it to not exist, it sounds like. Yeah. So yeah. if I had to say where that comes from, that comes from up here. It like, feels like it's coming down from the right side of my body. Down mm -hmm. here, wanting to uh, stop it, go away, right? Stop, yeah, stop cut it. Stop making me so uncomfortable. Got it. Okay, good. So, um, is it possible for you to let the part of you that's presenting here stop it, go away? Is it possible for you to let that part know that you're aware of it in whatever way makes sense to you? Let it know that I'm aware of it? Yeah, I just find a way to connect with it. So this is this happens over and over again in IFS, whether we're working with a protector, which is, you know, the, the part that is trying to manage vulnerability, trying to protect you from vulnerability, or we're working with the vulnerability. The goal in IFS is to get what we call the self or self energy, that place when we're sort of calm and curious, we don't have an agenda in relationship to the part. And because the, the work is between the client self and their own parts. And so Derek has already started that process by saying, um, I can't remember his exact words in this moment, but you know, let it know that you're here or you know, does it notice you? And that also is a process of called unblending because instead of being the one that doesn't like the anxiety, it's there's this part of you that doesn't like the anxiety. And so it starts to move them away from each other so that they can be in relationship instead of being blended together. And then you can actually help that protector. Mm -hmm. 